Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in a finished designer to create a dolphin. I'll be creating it entirely from circles combined by the compound function. This video is inspired by the hype about the shape builder and the inclusion of a similar tool in Vectinator. I still think that the compounds are way easier as they are fully editable, non-destructive and allow the artist to see right away what he's creating rather than create a lot of shapes, combine them and then find the pattern within. Let's start with the circle. This will be the body of the dolphin. I duplicate that one, move it slightly down and select both circles. I'll click on the boolean subtract and it creates a compound where the second shape is subtracted from the first. I repeat the process with a smaller circle. This will be the fin. It's the same process. I move the second circle into place. I'll click and create a, another compound. I move that into place and duplicate it for the flippers. The big advantage is that this is still fully editable. I can go in and move the one circle that is subtracted to alter the shape of the flipper. Next I create a set of three circles that will form the tail. Once I combine the circles, they can be scaled together as one shape, rotated, modified, filled. In this case, I just need to scale them and put them in the right position. Now that I have the four main parts, I combine them into a new compound with an Alt click on the Boolean Add. I can still go in and edit each element separately. Next up is the shaping of the nose. For that I create a smaller circle, but before I can place that properly I need the dent in the forehead, so I duplicate the tail and move it up. I rotate it and position it where I need it, align it with the curve as much as possible and then set that compound to subtract rather than add. Now I can adjust the round shape for the nose. Scale the circle down, position it and duplicate it for another compound shape where the small circle will be cut out of a bigger version. After all that fiddling, it starts to look like a dolphin. I move the compound, that way I can just adjust the setting. This one needs to be subtracted as well. With another three circles, I modify the tail. I want to create a pointy shape that cuts into the center of the tail. One thing to keep in mind when working with compounds is that the layer order matters. Now everything is cut out of the bottommost circle in the stack. So I need to put the center one at the bottom so the top ones are cutting out of this one. Then I can place it and combine that with the main shape I drag the new compound into the main compound and set the mode to subtract. With the main shapes in place I can now go in and modify. That is the great advantage of the compound tool. All my circles are still in place and I can edit them. And the whole 
compound shape reacts as one shape that means I can give it one fill in this case I give it a gradient the one downside is I can't make a clipping mask out of a compound shape so the alternative would be either to convert it to curves or use the clipping mask as a mask to below which I did for the lighter belly which gets a Gaussian blur and that causes a little bit of a problem because the mask seems to be masking the shape but takes on the blur so I group the shape with the blur and then add the mask on top and it seems to have fixed the problem so here we have our basic dolphin shape quickly and easily done with compounds a bunch of circles and a little bit of fiddling around I'm not quite happy with it, I don't like the pointy edges on the fins and the tail. That's an easy fix, just like the round part of the nose. Once I've done the first one, I just duplicate the compound and place it in these three other positions and adjust it. I move these three compounds into the main compound, set them to subtract and all my pointy edges are now nicely curved. Seeing I use the same compound as a mask, I need to change that as well, so I delete the mask after releasing it, duplicate the compound and move it up in the layer stack and make it the new mask to below. Even though the dolphin is made up of 25 circles, if I convert the compound to curves, I just get this nice clean shape. Let me show you the circles that I created in the process. And this is what you have to build in Shape Builder and then find the dolphin inside that. I find that a rather hard task, seeing you just get one shot at it and afterwards the shape is destroyed. This way, with the compounds, everything is editable easy to fix and you see what you're doing right away so i think affinity wins on this one even though it's not called shape builder if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe to my channel leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see on this channel or on my blog and i'll see you again soon